in this lecture we will be learning about the layouts because there are different layouts like high level layouts which is top level layouts and le the sub layouts like sections column side by side layout so we need to understand how we need to use it so if i will delete everything it's an empty interface right now and you can say there will be top level layouts so in a interface there can only be a single top level layout that's why after selecting this top level layout the top level layout section is gone so any of them i can select i can select a form or uh, if i'll go back we have card header we have billboard header so whichever i will be selecting after selecting it that is gone so now the second thing is layouts because the top level layouts inside this so you can see if i'll go back first of all and you can see inside the top level layouts we can use layouts inside the layouts we can use inputs and all these things so this is accordingly coming this is according to the hierarchy this is the top hierarchy if i select the form and you can see the top is gone now i can select the layouts so inside this i can select a section and i can select uh, columns I can select side by side. So all these different layouts are there. For example, I need to put something irrespective of where we are putting it. So we can select a section and I will put it like this. I can put it inside the, you can see one by one, I can put it anything inside this section. So there are certain limitations, right? Where we are putting which object, right? So according to the limitations, we can use it accordingly. Right, so now you can see we have section, we have a column layout, and if I will show you the this section, you can see I can add multiple columns. Right, for example, we are building some layout, we are building some design, and we wanted to put some extra spaces here, then we can use columns layout. For example, I'll show you if I will put text inside the column one, this one, this one, and this one, and this one. And I want these section to be blank. So you can see, if I'll go inside the preview, this is looking like this. The, these sections will be blank. It is not visible because we are using the column one, right? And we have designed something like this. So according to the requirement, we can use different things. For example, I wanted to use something like a box, which I can collapse and uncollapse. Then I can drag and drop inside the form layout. And you can see this is something like a box. Inside this box, I can again select columns right more columns whatever i want i just need to drag and drop it inside the element right and accordingly if i'll go inside the expression we have the design here design objects here right and if i wanted to modify something from this i can directly modify this right and if not i can again jump into the design mode and i can put the basic design here and then after that i can jump into the expression to write some logic Right, and uh, we have different inputs also. Like uh, we have text. Like whenever I wanted to put some string, I can use text. If I wanted to write some bigger strings, I can use paragraphs. Right. So for example, for descriptions, we can use paragraphs, and uh, for number, we can use integers. For decimals, we can use this decimal design object. For date, we can use this one. And if I want uh, date and time, then I can use this one. So every design object, it 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 has some function associated with it, right? You can see for date we have a bank date field. For time, a bank date time field. For integer, we have a bank in integer field. And accordingly, the configuration is there. The parameters are there. We have label, we have label position, we have save into and value. So for example, if I'll select some date here and after clicking outside the focus is gone you can see the date is also gone because we are not saving the data right now right everything whatever i am selecting inside this is gone right if i try to write some integer and if i try to write some text this is also gone because we are not saving these values so we need to understand how we can use all these objects inside these layouts right so we'll see that in next video thank you